Hey friends, welcome back to Scrap Cooking. We're here again in our beautiful Urban Element kitchen and uh, we're gonna be doing a video today on asparagus like we did in the previous episode. Um, we have cut our asparagus and we have all of the different trims. So today I'm gonna show you how to use the woody end bits. So they're not really edible, they're quite fibrous, but they're still packed with flavor and we don't throw out flavor. So we are going to uh, do, a little, do a little ditty with that. <music> We've got our beautiful asparagus spears all nice and trimmed. You can see how we do that in our video. And I've got all these little bits that um, I like to throw into like a, uh, into a frittata or some eggs or whatever. Um, and then I've got uh, these, little, these little pieces that are nice. Um, there's, if it was still a whole piece, it would be, quite fibrous to eat, but if you cut them nice and thin, they have a nice snap to them. So I just like to throw those into salad, just green salad, or really they can be a garnish on almost anything. And it's nice and crunchy and delicious. But today we are dealing with the woody ends. So my favorite thing to do with them is just to cut them up a bit and just be careful with your knife because they are, um, harder than you think they are. You can hear it. <laughs> so we're going to be cutting them just into smaller pieces because the more surface area um, that is exposed, the more, we'll be, the more flavor we'll be able to extract from it. So we're gonna put this in our pot just like that. And we're just gonna be simmering them in some cream, some heavy cream. Um, you could use 10% or 18% if that's what you had in your house. Um, I like to use 35%, but that's just me. <laughs> um, and we're just going to be almost like making a tea, but uh, with cream and asparagus and not tea. <laughs> um, but it's a similar concept. So we're going to be um, adding the cream. And then we're just gonna be simmering it and we're really just trying to extract the asparagus flavor into the cream. And then uh, we are going to strain it out once we've reached peak asparagus cream. And, uh, and then we use it for anything you want, anything that has cream in it, you could put it in your mac and cheese and uh, or pasta of any kind. But uh, yeah, so we're just gonna pour that 35% over top. And I'm gonna just rinse it out with like a little of water. Now, I'm using a gas burner and I'm going to turn it to about medium to start. If I was using an electric stove, I would probably turn it to medium low as I do find them a bit hotter. So once this starts to get hot and you start seeing some steam rise from it, we are gonna just turn it down to low. And I would do the same on my electric stove, turn it down to low. And then we're just probably gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes, uh, half an hour. And uh, it's gonna turn just a very pale green a really nice color, but uh, it's so lovely in like um, in a spring pasta or bringing things together. It's just got this really nice springiness to it. And we love all things asparagus when it's asparagus season. <laughs> all right, so we're just gonna let that go for a bit. So it's been about half an hour. It's simmering. I've been stirring it every couple every five minutes or so, because otherwise it gets a, like a, a skin on top, which is, you know, it's not terrible. It's just kind of gross. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I can really smell the asparagus in the cream and that's what we want. And uh, it's kind of turning just a little bit brown, the asparagus, and that's where we want it too. And I'm gonna add a little chef pinch of salt in there and give it a little stir, dissolve that. 
and then we are going to strain it. So I got my strainer. If you don't have a strainer and you have a slotted spoon, you could use that as well. To know when it's done, I would take a spoon, it's hot, so blow on it. And if it tastes like asparagus, you're good. <laughs> so you also notice that the that it the color kind of changes a little bit. Instead of being bright white, it's sort of slightly kind of looks yellowish from this. Uh, angle with the pot, but really it's just slightly green, a little, a lighter shade of green. But we're gonna pour it through the strainer and get every little last bit. And then, whoop. And you just wanna kind of push it through as much as possible to get out all that cream. So you can see that the asparagus bits themselves, they've kind of turned color a little bit. They're not as bright green anymore. Uh, they're sort of a little bit of an army green. And that's good. And then we can put that in the compost, which is gonna be the strainer for right now. <laughs> and then we're just gonna cool this down. And then I'm gonna put it in a container like this guy, a liter container or any other container that it'll fit in. And uh, then I'm gonna use it for pasta. I am gonna use it for a soup, especially like a cold soup, spring soup, like a pea soup or a potato soup. Or if you had some asparagus that wasn't, uh, it wasn't the nicest, but it wasn't dead. It's just sort of, uh, just on its way out. <laughs> you could, once with the strained, stuff, you could chop up that asparagus, put it in the pot, and then blitz it. Um, but you wouldn't want to blitz those ends that we just um, infused because they're really fibrous and they'll uh, really hurt the blade on your, on your blender. And uh, they'll get stuck and they won't break down and they'll be like, not good. <laughs> so we won't do that. But if you were using these guys, you could chop them up um, cook them so they were soft and then blitz it, uh, in either the blender or with an immersion blender. So like a stick. Um, but yeah, it's really got a lot of uses. Um, and it's really delicious. You can also freeze it and use it later if you, uh, didn't have anything to use it for right away. Um, but you can also just make sure that you cool it down all the way so that you don't, uh, don't have yucky pathogens growing on it in your fridge. <laughs> but uh, there you have it. A lovely asparagus infused cream to use however you so desire. So thanks so much for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe and watch the other video on asparagus. So we'll see you next time.